Okay, the next one is congruent angles. So we did congruent segments where we made two segments that were the same. Now we're going to make two angles that are the same. Congruent angles. So congruent angles have the same like degree measure, same like opening with the angle. The rays on an angle go on forever and ever. So we don't need to draw those like the same length, but we do need to make sure that the opening is the same for both of the angles. So in this example here, there's not quite enough room to make congruent angles. So we're just going to jump to number one. I'm still following these directions though. It says draw a ray and label the endpoint D. So we have the angle right here. We're going to make a congruent one right over here. Starting with, we're going to just draw a ray and label the endpoint D. So this ray would match with this. Okay. The next step, are you ready? Is to put the compass on point A. And it doesn't matter what the arc measure is right here but we're going to make an arc that goes through both of the rays like this. So I put it on A and I just made an arc that crosses both of the rays. And then using the same measurement without moving the compass, I'm gonna put it on D and make the same arc. So I put it on A, I made an arc, then using that same measurement, put it on D and made that same arc. Oh, sorry. So from A, I just made an arc that crossed both rays. And then using the same measurement, I went to D and did the same thing. And then this is point B and C, and this is E. Okay, ready for the next step? Next step is to measure from B to C. So adjust your compass to be that exact measurement from B to C and like make a mark like this. So I measured B to C, made that mark, and then using the same measurement, I'm gonna go to E, make the same mark. And this here is F. So if you didn't catch that, I measured B to C, made a mark, and then put it on E, made the same mark to get point F. And then as you may predict, I'm just going to connect those dots to make the second ray of the angle. So angle CAB is now congruent to angle FDE. Okay, number two, we're doing the same thing again. Um, we're gonna make this bottom ray, this would be ray right here, label this D. Then using my compass, I'm gonna make an arc that goes through both rays. So you may need to adjust it so that way it actually crosses both rays. So I made an arc that goes through both rays and then from D I'm gonna make that same arc. For anybody that needs me to repeat that, I just chose a random measurement for the arc and made an arc that goes through both rays. Then using the same measurement, I went to D and made the same arc. Then I'm gonna label my points. This is B and C, and this is E. And then I'm going to measure the distance from B to C. Make an arc. And then using that measurement, put it on E and make the same mark. So I measured the distance between B and C, and then put it on E and made the same mark. And then, OK. 
connect the dots. Thank you.